good morning students in this video we are going to explain an alternating methods uh, to determine the dft other than the fft algorithms so those are here called as linear filtering approaching methods so now see this here the topic a linear filtering approach to computation of the dft okay so okay, actually here we have the two methods one is the gorzel method another one is chip jet transform algorithm in addition to the fft fast fourier transform algorithm what is that butterfly diagram approach method so that is said to be radix 2 radix 4 uh, like that so we have seen uh, those algorithms so uh, nothing but da dfft daf fft so here other than that so we have the another approaches also so those are said to be here linear filtering approach methods so under this we should study those algorithm chip jet transform algorithm so here uh, coming to this uh, uh, fft algorithm so here if you consider this fft fast fourier transform algorithm so here it computes dft okay discrete fourier transform so that to endpoint df endpoint uh, dft that means uh, there are n samples in x of n now it generates n points n points so those are uh, called as x of k right so here x of n is the input x of k is the output or result now here what is the length of the x of n capital n and of course x of k length also capital n so this is the uh, uh, here actually uh, done in fft by using fft algorithm so but now here if i want uh, like uh, desired number of uh, if i want to select the desired number of uh, particular x of n uh, desired number of uh, n value desired number of capital n value that means here uh, usually um, it depends on like this right so log n base 2 uh, value so that uh, here the, um, these stages are required right to compute this dft using this fft algorithm so but here if i take uh, 7 right i need 7 point dft i need 9 point dft i need 6 point dft in such a case right so now here if i uh, need right if i need some desired value of a particular dft dft then so here this particular fft algorithm is not useful for some applications for some applications i need uh, what is that selected number of values of the dft right so that's why here particular uh, fft algorithm is not recommendable maybe it may take uh, more computational complexity uh, when compared with the what is that the direct dft method so that's why here we have to choose the another methods here that is said to be what is that gerzel algorithm okay right now next one is the chip jet transform algorithm here also so here some applications are there here we require the evaluation of the jet transform of a finite duration sequence at points other than the unit circle right so in such a case right so we have to use this chip jet transform algorithm so other than the fft algorithm okay so now coming to the first one uh, here what is that gerzel algorithm these are linear filtering approaches right linear filtering approaches so here you just develop one filter so here the uh, input is uh, applied and then you can get the output is drawn the convolution method you can find out the output so that is the convolving between the input and the filter uh, impulse response right so in such a way here we just develop the filter uh, and then uh, be, uh, based on the particular filter design and then uh, input it by by convolving these two you can get the what is that design value that is x of k here right we are using that approach that's why here that filter is here linear uh, uh, nature that's why here said to be linear filtering approach okay so now here coming to this one the first one what is that gerzel algorithm it is also important um, frequently in exams they are asking 
गजल अलगारदा और चिप्स अलगारदा सो लॉन्ग विद एफ एफ टी हियर वी शुड लर्न दीज अलगारदम सालसो ओके राइट सो नाउ हियर फर्स्ट कंसिडर डी एफ टी ऑफ एक्स ऑफ एन दट इज रेप्रजेंटेड एस एक्स ऑफ के so now here i just add here this one which is always equal to 1 w n power minus k into n is nothing but e power minus j 2 pi by n into n so n n gets cancelled now it is equal to 1 so now w n power minus k n so here take that one now summation n 0 to n minus 1 x of n w n power minus uh, k here the common minus k then uh, or if you common plus k here is n minus capital n okay if i use n is equal to m here m is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of m w n power k m minus n okay this is nothing but x of k here w n power minus k n is equal to one okay right now if you see this this nature okay so listen uh, here i am just modifying this one like this summation m0 to n minus 1 x of m w n power माइनस के एन माइनस एम एन माइनस एम ओके राइट ओके नाउ दिस वन इज इक्वल टू हियर एक्स ऑफ के इज हियर लेट दिस एक्स ऑफ के इज नथिंग बट वाई के ऑफ एन So I'm assuming this one x of k is nothing but what is that? Y k of n. Yet n is equal to capital n. It is denoted as y k of n, where small n is nothing but capital n, and it is nothing but x of n convolved with. H K of n. So that means here, what is that? Convolution means you know that formula. What is that? X of m. H K of n minus m. Am I correct? Here m is equal to zero to n minus one. Okay. So if I take like this, uh, listen. Here X of n convolved with H K of n is nothing but summation X of m H K of n minus m. If you compare this this equation with this equation, see here, what is that here? H K of uh, n minus m is nothing but what is that? This one. So that means here, what is the n value here? In in the place n, you just use capital n, and of course, here dummy variable is m. Any doubt here? So this is nothing but. so here if i take x of k as like this it actually from the convolution formula it is equal to this one m is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of m h k of n minus m here here this is equal to 
so usually what is that x of k right so here from this formula but uh, so we have assigned like this what is it yk of n yk of n right so here yk of n but what is the n here n should be equal to capital n so by comparing these two equations right so that's why here this is nothing but y of n but that y of n is here i am taking like that what is that yk of n at n is equal to capital n to match with this okay that is nothing but x of k right okay now see here here x of k is nothing but what is that yk of n where n is equal to capital n that is nothing but x of n convolved with i am taking like this hk of n so that is nothing but n n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 um, sorry here m, m is a dummy variable so okay we have to use this one right m x of m hk of what is that n minus m okay this is equal to actually x of k is nothing but what is that m 0 to n minus 1 x of m w n power minus k n minus m okay so now that means here where hk of n what is the way hk of n here w n power minus k n minus k n u of n right so u of n means uh, values are uh, greater than or equal to 0 only there are values greater than or equal to 0 uh, n values there are va uh, amplitude values right that's why here hk of n is equal to right so by comparing these two i'm writing like this w n power minus k n u of n of course you know that n is nothing but capital n so here we have written like this okay small n is nothing but capital n okay this is nothing but the hk of n okay now here this is nothing but what is this impulse response what is this impulse response here input is x of n what is the output yk of n here n is equal to capital n okay so here x of n length is capital n what is x of n length capital n that means it is a finite duration input sequence it is finite duration input sequence of length capital n and then here the filter is what is the filter here that has response hk of n okay so this one here uh, we developed from the equation what is that dft equation okay so now here the filter system response is filter system response is, uh, filter impulse response is hk of n right so now which has the system function which has the system function this filter system function what is that h of z is the system function okay so that's why here i would like to find out that system function so write hk of z system function is equal to so what is this here the z transform of hk of n 
सो हियर वॉट इज दच के ऑफ एन डबल्यू एन पॉवर माइनस के होल पॉवर एन यू ऑफ एन अफकोर्स यू नो दैट ए पॉवर एन यू ऑफ एन हेज द जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म वॉट इज दैट वन बै वन माइनस ए जेड इन वर्स based on this formula hk of z is equal to 1 by 1 minus a is here wn power minus k z inverse see here what is a here wn power minus k okay so a power n u of n so now 1 by 1 minus a 1 minus a z inverse means 1 by 1 minus a is w n power minus k z inverse okay so now here w n power minus k means we know that e power j 2 pi by n k w n power k is e power minus j 2 pi by n uh, k that's why here w n power minus k means this one okay we know that this one so that means here You may consider two pi k by n is nothing but w k. So that means uh, here frequency is k uh, k is here integer two pi by n into k. So we can represent like this. So so this is the conclusion here. This filter has a pole, right? So only poles are there. Now pole. on the unit circle at the frequency at the frequency omega k is nothing but 2 pi k by n at the frequencies maybe k okay, is a uh, integer frequency at the frequency omega k is equal to 2 pi k by n depends on k it's okay now that means so the entire dft can be computed by passing the block of input data into a parallel bank of n single pole filter am i correct single pole filter that frequency also 2 by k by n so then um we can get the output like this okay that means entire dft what is this x of k dft of x of n is x of k this one is right determine by passing this x of n through a one filter that filter has a response w n power Minus k n u of n or the system function one by one minus w n power minus k z inverse. From this, it is said to be n single pole filters. Capital n single pole filters. Filters. The that is nothing but w n power minus k is nothing but e power j two pi by n k. Okay, this is the conclusion here. Okay, that means develop the filter with the poles like that represented like this. Then you can, if you assign the x of n, x of n as an input to that particular system. So the, here it is a system. Then the system produces the output. That output is nothing but our design endpoint DFT. This is nothing but Gerson algorithm. Okay, right? So that means here C. Here, that H K of Z uh, is nothing but what is that? One by one minus W N power minus K Z power in Z power minus one. How can you design the filter here based on realization structures? So now here, this is nothing but Y K of Z. Output is Y K of Z. At n is equal to capital N, that is said to be Y of uh, what is that? X of K. Divide it by what is the input here? X of z. So now 
multiply these two yk of z into 1 minus wn power minus k z power minus 1 is equal to x of z. Now yk of z into 1 minus wn power minus k z inverse yk of z is equal to x of z. So if I consider here inverse z transform on both sides this is nothing but yk of n minus wn power minus k yk of n minus 1 that is equal to x of n x of n okay so now here the desired output yk of n here what is the desired output yk of n what is that here x of k where k is 0 1 and so on n minus 1 what is yk of n here that our x of k so here k is 0 to n minus 1 so here to perform this computation phase factors w n power minus k can be computed and also stored so first we find out this w n power minus k and then by using this so you can develop this x of k okay so now here see for real input sequence x of n so this algorithm requires n plus 1 real multiplications from the knowledge of a particular system function right if you realize this one through the structure so to particularly for uh, uh, real input sequence uh, x of n right so that means of order n so now it needs n plus 1 real multiplications and also here n plus 1 real multiplications to get x of k to get x of k and also we may get x of n minus k also right so that means you may get x of k and also you can get the x of n minus k also so both values you can get okay here now the next point is here uh, so this algorithm is uh, very useful and particularly attractive when the DFT is to be computed at a re relatively smaller number m of values that means here if you want to find out the m uh, endpoint DFT what is that endpoint DFT by using what is that FFT algorithm FFT algorithm but if I if I want to use this Gorzel algorithm Gorzel algorithm Gerzel algorithm right so here which one is better here if if I want to compute less than log n base 2 less than log n base 2 value if I want to compute m point d of t here m is it should be less than or uh, less than or equal to log n base 2 then only this Gerzel algorithm is useful otherwise you may use the FFT algorithm okay right so that means computational complexity is less when you take m value less than or equal to log n base 2 otherwise this complexity is very very high when compared with this FFT algorithm right and then here so realization structure so just use the what is that direct form to realization structure direct form to realization so and then here I am considering two pole resonator two pole resonator but actually we have seen single pole resonator 
for better accuracy if i use two pole resonator and then here is uh, there is uh, we did not develop that one here but we have the uh, we have con concentrated on single pole resonator only this is said to be single pole resonator system function that means it is a filter right system function so if i use two pole resonator filter so in this way if i develop that resonator that filter so here the, that has the system function like this 1 minus w n power k z inverse divided by 1 minus 2 cos 2 pi k by n z inverse plus z power minus 2 right so no need to prove this directly take up this one and then draw the direct form to realization structure here okay of course you know this so here by using shortcut method based on numerator and denominator polynomials right so you may easily draw this one right so here is a power minus one here is a power minus two so use the two delay units and then concentrate the numerator polynomial in the right side and then concentrate the denominator polynomial in the left side okay right so here uh, take the numerator polynomial now here multiply a, what is that w n power k then here add here and now here multiplier is so 2 cos 2 pi k by n here and here the multiplier is minus 1 and of course here is a multiplier 1 no need to draw that one now here add us okay right inverse uh, these values um, uh, coefficient values that's why here i'm taking 2 cos 2 pi by n k here is a minus 1 here is a uh, value so right as it is what is that w n power k okay so now the output is x of k over of y k of n so here just establish this type of filters so two pole resonator means this one single port resonator means uh, take the HK, hk object as in the previous case a very simple one one uh, structure is there okay right one delay unit is used it's okay by using that you can develop the what is that n point dft of x of k so here that uh, we may call it is uh, like a m point dft that m is nothing but it should be less than or equal to log n base 2 right so here uh, log n base 2 means so n point dft is there m point dft is there right so when you select m, m point dft that is a truncation of uh, this uh, uh, n values so that means if you want to use the, some desired value of the dft right so in, uh, instead of using fft you may use the gerzel algorithm so that may be more uh, beneficial right so and that that means it uh, reduces the computational complexity when compared with the fft algorithm this is the conclusion here so here we developed the single pole resonator system function but here we have we drawn uh, 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 what is that uh, structure uh, realization structure for the two pole resonator okay so right so there is no uh, actually uh, uh, we we have not concentrated on the what is that proof for this just take directly remember this formula and then draw the structure okay right this is the Gerzel algorithm okay thank you